Hello, I'm Yael Maxwell with TCTMD. I'm here with one of our Fellows Forum bloggers, Dr. Walid Alharvi. Um, he's here at his second TCT. Uh, how are you enjoying yourself so far? Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having me, and uh, it's a pleasure uh, to be part of this conference. And uh, it's always, it's always uh, refreshing and inspiring how to see all the, it's like the. Oscars uh, <laughs> of the calf intervention world. Definitely, really, uh, definitely little all-stars around. Yeah. <laughs> so you have blogged for us um, on TCT MD's fellow Fellows Forum. Uh, your last post was about a roadmap to skills mastery in the cath lab. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, sure. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's actually uh, an experience uh, that I gained. I learned from a lot of mentors uh, I had uh, during the last uh, year and almost a half now in uh, interventional fellowship and doing my cardiology fellowship, which is really uh, fascinating and uh, you never stop learning from them. And, uh, and I saw the new fellows when they start, they struggle through what, uh, what, what, the sh what they re realize that there is some fundamentals, they get it uh, late during right. the fellowship. Rather than that, I just want to summarize my experiences I th I, and I, w I hope it was helpful. Uh, mm -hmm. And it just uh, says fundamentals. I think it's all common sense. The most most people knows it, but it's it's good to really emphasize uh, those principles so from the start. So just give us a little reminder. What are some of your tips yeah. for things you may have wished you knew when you started? So one of the th first things as a fellow I remember when I started is that I wanted how to really uh, uh, master techniques in the cath lab and. Uh, what are the tips and hints and how to really uh, to be really good at that? And the way I believe was uh, I believe that is the right thing to do. And I, what I learned from my mentors is that uh, actually uh, one is that uh, to observe very very observe very hard. <laughs> and uh, and uh, and the second tip that I would have uh, really recommend is that uh, learn from every mentor and everyone has uh, specific skills that can of complement each other. Nobody is perfect but you get what you want at the end so that is really fits you well. And uh, and the rest you can read it uh, the blog and it's, uh, it's really it's about how to choose a mentor and uh, how to educate yourself continuously in attending these conferences. Definitely. Yeah. So um, I have happy you mentioned that. What are some tips you think that you would give to fellows attending conferences like TCT or other large cardiology conferences? Yeah, it's true. Especially in a very large uh, conference like TCT, it's pretty hard to really to go everything. So first of all, number one is that uh, lear uh, like have a passion for one thing. And that passion should focus on that, what you want to look at. If you're in a CTO or you want to go mitral valve, aortic valve, uh, so uh, congenital. So don't kind of jump around you can to, to do topics. that. It's, it's hard because there's no different tracks going on. So that's, uh, that's a lesson I learned when I was a cardiology fellow when I did my first TCT. I was, I want to do everything. I want to learn everything, which is not practical. So uh, it's good to start with a strong fundamentals in every aspect and then try to focus on one uh, and one niche that you really want to master. And uh, that's my advice. And you're going to learn a lot from live cases. I would recommend highly to go to live cases rather than going to um, uh, didactic teaching. Really? Uh, but if you weaken some topics, it's a good idea to go to didactic teaching. Mm -hmm. But for live cases, it's really good. Like, for example, today, there was a really incredible case, uh, a live case from Germany, where a patient crashed during the TAVI, uh, and uh, it tell you how leadership in the cath lab is really essential, and that's you learn it. Very minimal conversation, as Dr. Ted Feldman mentioned, that very minimal conversation, they did it very swiftly and uh, uh, Accurately. Mm -hmm. And what about networking opportunities at these the, meetings? This is a very, uh, that's a very important point actually, uh, networking in every aspect. If you want to pursue a further sub super specialty, uh, uh, structural or CTO or SHIP programs, uh, that's a good opportunity to meet those people and have their input and, uh, and they're really helpful uh, in that matter. Uh, and also, if you want to look for a job, that's really also it's a good opportunity to meet the directors of cath labs. Everyone's end goal, right? Exactly. <laughs> Looking so for it's that really, job. So really, it's really, uh, it's a, and also you're going to meet your old friends and folks. So it's really, uh, it's a, it's a good, refreshing time uh, to, uh, from every aspect in life. Yeah, definitely. People come from all over the world. I imagine you meet exactly all yeah. sorts of international people. Exactly. Yeah. 
Great. So going forward, what uh, what can we expect from you? What kind of posts um, are you thinking about writing for us? Um, so far, um, uh, probably I might uh, talk about uh, device by design and how you incorporate that during your fellowship, and uh, how to develop, how to really focus in one niche, and uh, and that's what I'm working on myself first uh, before <laughs> I uh, I write it down. But uh, those are things I might talk about them Great. in the uh, recent future and. Uh, and my advice for the all new fellows is that uh, try to feel stupid every day. That's <laughs> not easy, but it's what's going to make you uh, get better. Great. Well, that's great advice. Yeah. Can't wait, wait to read your future posts. Thanks Thank so much, much for Thank being you for with having us. Me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, thanks for joining us at TCT and check us out on Fellows Forum.